What was stupid was you didn't think that I was smart enough to listen to your calls. Tonight, the fireworks fly as a prosecutor goes after a convicted middle school murderer. It happened during a resentencing hearing for Michael Hernandez, who brutally stabbed his friend Jaime Goff to death in 2004. CBS 4's Donna Rapato joins us live from the Miami Dade Courthouse. Donna? Rudabe Michael Hernandez took the stand today apologizing for killing his classmate, both of them just 14 years old. Hernandez hopes to get parole someday to get out of prison, but the prosecutor's not having it. I'm sorry for what I, what I did to him. Michael Hernandez apologized in court for brutally murdering his classmate Jaime Goff 12 years ago. Both boys were 14 when Hernandez, fascinated by serial killers and death, lured Goff into a bathroom at Southwood Middle School and stabbed him more than 40 times. And it hurts me how, how senseless it was because he was always such a good friend to me. And I wanted to apologize to his family, to his mother and his father because I, I didn't always feel this way. More than 10 years behind bars now and a life sentence still ahead, Hernandez hopes the judge allows for the possibility of parole thanks to a Supreme Court ruling. Hernandez's attorney reminded him of a prison call with a pen pal where they both joked about him being unable to cry. Girl, why don't you practice your weekend learning how to cry? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to stab myself. <laughs> Hernandez's parents and Goff's parents watched as prosecutor Gail Levine let the 26-year-old teary-eyed killer have it, letting him know she didn't buy his sob story. Because as you sit here today, you cry on cue. That's what you do. Oh, man. How'd you muster up those tears? I feel horrible about what I did. Yeah, so horrible to say, I may have to stab myself. What was stupid was you didn't think that I was smart enough to listen to your calls. And Michael Hernandez told the judge if he ever does get out of prison, he'd like to get married and have children someday. But state experts told the judge if Hernandez ever does get out of prison, he'll just become another Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy. Live in Miami, Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News tonight. Thank you, Donna.